I'm telling you, Nick, your life is over. The minute your parents come through that door with the new baby, they're not even gonna know you're here. It won't be that bad. We talked about this stuff. I'm serious. I could get kidnapped by flying saucers, and my folks wouldn't notice till it's my turn to take out the trash. But you've got three brothers and two sisters. I'm only getting one little baby sister. A baby sister? That's the worst. She's all pink and cute and cuddly. How are you supposed to compete with that? Hmm. They're here. Be afraid, Nick. Be very afraid. Hello! Welcome home! Oh, here she is. Nicholas, meet your little sister, Grace. Amazing. Hey, Grace, I'm your big brother, Nicholas. <laughs> Sounds like a hunger cry to me. I'm out of here. Congratulations, folks. Hey, Sam. Hey, hey, you be careful on that thing. Good luck, Nick. Call you later. Bye, Sam. Mmm, my, she is hungry. I'm gonna take her upstairs. Doesn't she ever sleep? I suppose any changing again? Ew, smells like it. I think sometimes more comes out of you than goes in. Do it on purpose, honey. Wanna bet? Oh, don't be silly. Get yourself cleaned up and get to bed. <laughs> She's a baby barf factory. <laughs> You're not a baby barf factory, are you? She's only good for two things: crying and filling her diaper. Hate to say I told you so, but I know, I know. My parents even bought me a CD player to bribe me into liking her. Lucky, you're still in the buy em off with the cool stuff phase. If you can hold that off till Christmas, you'll really cash in. I don't want to cash in. I just want my stupid baby sister to just go away. You just wish they'd never brought her home. I didn't say that. But you've thought of it plenty of times, haven't you? It's not just that. It's the way she looks at me sometimes. Like she's doing this stuff on purpose. Nick, this is only the beginning. You've got years of this to look forward to. Thanks, I feel much better. Here's that CD. Now we can play it at the science fair to show how music affects Stanley's time going through the maze. What do you think, Stan? Would you give me a break, you two? I just got Grace to sleep. Sorry, Mom. Would you try and settle her down, please? I'll try. Look at the cool toys. What a lucky girl. Look at the pretty colors. You're working way too hard at this Big Brother stuff. You're older than her. You always will be. That's true. You gotta call the shots. If you don't, she'll keep playing this little princess game forever. But she gets all the attention anyways. Spelt out the words only me. Yeah, right, Nick. What do you mean only me? Sure, you're not seeing things. I can read, Sam. Hmm. What are you trying to do to me, Grace? <sighs> Got a blast. Later, Nick.
mother. <laughs> Nicholas, what in the world? It's three in the morning. I know. Grace was watching racing. She talked to me. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Oh, what's the matter, sweetheart? Come on to mommy. I was sure I heard her. Never mind the television. Look at you in the kitchen as a disaster. But I didn't do it. It was Grace. She can barely crawl. I get her up to bed. Come on, sweetheart. I know this sounds impossible, but I'm telling the truth. This has gone far enough. Now, I know you're having trouble adjusting, but to create a situation like this and then blame it on an innocent baby. But, Dad, she did it. I was totally asleep. That's enough. If you're not going to tell me the truth, we've got nothing to talk about. I want you to clean up the kitchen and get to bed. But, Dad, you have to believe me. Nick, stop it. Kitchen, bed. My parents think I tried to blame it on Grace, but she was the one trying to blame it on me. You got to admit, Nick, it sounds pretty weird. So you think I did it, too? Get real. A baby Grace's age can't do all of those things. It's impossible. But I saw her. Maybe you were sleepwalking or something. Ha! Huh, there, you see? This proves it. Nick, you need help. All I need is a new baby sister. I gotta go. I'll see you at school, okay? Ooh. Hello, baby Grace, or whatever your name is. You left this at the scene of the crime. You may have everyone else fooled with this innocent baby act. But you and I know exactly what's going on. Talk to me. Both know you can. Well, you're not getting away with this, understand? Soon I'll be the only one. Ha! You talked, and now I have the proof I need. Got you now, babe. Now you're the one who's history. I don't know who or what she is, but she's not my sister. How can you say a thing like that? Because it's true. She doesn't even look like anyone in our family. Babies change from day to day. Their hair color, their eyes. Her eyes glow like headlights. Her eyes didn't glow. It was the toy. I don't care. She's out to get me, and I can prove it. Just listen to this. Talk to me. Both know you can. But she talked. I heard her. I recorded it. That thing is not our baby. Nicholas. She doesn't even have teeth. She ate my math book. Nick, I think it's time we talked about maybe getting you some help. Dad, I don't need some head doctor. We have to find out who this thing belongs to before someone really gets hurt. Nick, go to your room. This is great. My parents think I'm crazy. Nicholas. Your mother and I have had a serious discussion about this situation. 
And you're gonna get rid of her. <laughs> no, of course not. We just thought it would be best if you went to stay with your grandparents for a little while. That's just until you've had time to sort things out. You can't do this. This is what she wants you to do. Nicholas, would you please be reasonable about this? She wants to get rid of me. She wants to be the only one. She told me herself. Can you believe this? I get it. This is not up for debate, young man. You're going. I know it's hard to believe, but you have to. Sweetheart, if you just gave yourself some time to think about it, you would find out it's all in your head. Did you call Dr. Campbell? I figured if he took a closer look at the Grace thing, he'd find out it was weird and it's not ours. You didn't. He did. He told him he gave us the wrong baby. Now he wants to meet us down at the hospital. Tonight? I told him we'd be right down. There, you see, he believes me. He said no such thing. He probably wants to know how we're dealing with this situation. I'll call Tina. See if she can babysit. No. Nicholas can babysit. You're not gonna leave me alone with that thing, are you? That's exactly what we're doing. I trust you, Nicholas. I know I can count on you. Thanks for coming over. No big deal. But you should have called me before you called the doctor. Help, doctor! My baby sister's from another planet! I have to do something. You don't know what she's capable of. Sure, Nick. Whatever you say. I can hear you, Grace. Be good. Stanley, this is for school. Let's see if he does any better with the music. Hey, you could have taken better care of my CD. Thanks a lot, Nick. Your stupid gerbil's supposed to listen to my CD, not eat it. Stanley didn't get anywhere near it. it must have been Grace. She doesn't have teeth yet. Yes, she does. She already bit me. I'm out of here, space cadet. Let me know when the shuttle lands. Sam, wait, listen! It's bad enough to let your stupid rat in my CD, but blaming on the baby? That's really lame. First of all, Stanley's a gerbil, not a rat. And second of all, she's not my sister! Ugh, now what? Oh, no.
grace, whatever you call yourself. Better come out. Stanley? Stanley, get back here. I know you're in here. You ate my gerbil. She ate my gerbil. You can't get away from me, Grace. Strong. Dr. Campbell said it was all a terrible mistake, a computer error or something. I told you she wasn't ours. You were right, son. Sorry we doubted you. It's okay. So who's got our baby? So the doctor called them from the hospital. Must be them now. Hello. Baby. Cool car. Who's in the back? Parents. Just like my sister, Chloe. She does. Let's call her Chloe. Oh, Chloe it is. Welcome home, Chloe. Can I hold her? Sure. There you go. Yeah, he's got you. He's got you. Who picked out your clothes? Ah, <laughs> uh, look, darling. Oh, just like so me. cute. She oh, has got your eyes. <laughs> Baby Chloe and Big Brother Nicholas. Could that baby talk and give me some food? None of that mushy junk. Thank you. 